34, verse 12, and it reads, Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwa listening, listening and learning, Shalom. To your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. We'll get right into it. You know, Jake, Jake and their idols mingled among the heathen. I think I think that will be the title, Lord willing. Mingled among the heathen, right? And that's Jake mingled among the heathen, doing what? Taking on their ways, learning their works. Their works being what? Their idol worship being the chief offense, and all their abominations. Exodus thirty-four verse twelve: Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest. Right? And this the Most High Elbishim Yashai. Telling Moses, tell the children of Israel, the sons of Israel, take heed, be careful. This land I'm sending into, I'm sending you into, don't make a, co a, a covenant, an agreement with their inhabitants. Lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee, right? You're going to turn into a, a stumbling block, a trap amongst the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. Verse 13. But ye shall destroy their altars. Break their images and cut down their groves, right? The Most High Yahweh Shai gave specific instruction. Destroy their altars, their churches, their places of worship, their images, their statues, their idols. Destroy it all, right? Verse 14. For thou shalt worship no other god, lowercase g, none of these idols. The scriptures say the gods, of the, other, the gods of the nations are nothing but idols, right? Yahweh made the heavens. Get it, I want to butcher it. Psalm 96. This is Jake today. Jake's in everything but the truth. Psalm 96, verse 5. And it reads, For all the gods of the nations are idols, right? Once again, lowercase g. These, 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 these are the gods, the gods of these nations. These are the nations, the Elam and their Shiva, Shiva Jatis. And their and their and their and their 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 Shiva the destroyer and their Hindu gods. Those are all idols. Buddha, the moon god in in in, in Islam, idols. But the Lord, all caps, Yahweh, made the heavens right. So our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is above all the gods of these nations. These idols, right? Back in Exodus thirty-four, verse fourteen, for thou shalt worship no other god. We're not supposed to worship, bow down to none of those. For the Lord, Yahweh, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power, right? Our power is jealous. Scriptures say he's likened Israel to a comely, comely and delicate woman, right? We are the Lord's woman, right? The nation of Israel, Israel being a people for a place. We are his woman. Jeremiah 6 verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion, Israel, Israel being a people for a place, right? Zion means Lord's monument to Zion. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman, right? The, the Most High looks at us as his possession, his woman, right? If, 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 what does the scripture say in Jeremiah 3? Right, we just read that our power is a jealous power. Jeremiah 3 verse 1, and it reads, they say if a man put away his wife and she go from him, and become another man's wife, right? We just read that the Lord looks at us as his woman. We are his possession, the children of Israel, right? Shall he return unto her again, right? So what, what did the Israelites do? We went after other gods, idol worship, right? Shall not that land be greatly polluted, right? So you go, you, you, you leave your husband, you go lie with another man, your, your box is polluted. You are polluted. 
But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Israelites, we played the harlot with many lovers, gone after other gods. Yet return again to me, saith Yahweh, right? Yet we cry and go back to our power. This is what, our, this is what Yahweh Shemuel Shai is saying right here. Right, it says in Wisdom of Solomon, 14 verse 12 Wisdom of Solomon 14 verse 11 Therefore even upon the idols of the Gentiles Right You see the nation and their, 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 their idols We read the gods of the, the other nations are idols Shall there be a visitation The most I going to visit it man He's going to destroy all them idols via his son, Yahweh Shai. Because in the creature of the Most High, they are become an abomination and stumbling box to the souls of men and a sneer to the feet of the unwise, right? Because these idols we open with the scripture, they become sneers amongst Yahweh Bashim Shai's people, the Israelites. Here's the point, verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, spiritual fornication, adultery, running after other gods. The Most High, the, it's, it, the Most High looks at that as spiritual fornication, and the invention of them, the corruption of life, right? Idols, right? We just read that the Most High will visit the idols of the Gentiles. There shall be a visitation. Where's that scripture in? Uh, is it Micah? Micah six. Micah 5 Micah 5 verse 10 And it reads And it shall come to pass in that day saith Yahweh That I will cut off thy horses Out of the midst of thee And I will destroy thy chariots Right, The Most High going done away with the power structure Of these ruling class elites America the Great Babylon the Great Rome 2.0 and I will cut off the cities of thy land and throw down all thy strongholds. Most I don't throw down all their strongholds. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers, right? All their witchcrafts, their 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 idol, their 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 uh, their witches and warlocks, their enchantments, most I gonna cut it off. Thy graven images, thy graven images also will I cut off your idols, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the work of thy hands. All uh, that idol worship going to be done away with. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. So will I destroy thy cities. Pluck up thy groves and churches. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen. Right? Beginning with you Edomites. Such as they have not heard. Right? Nothing that you've never heard or seen before is going to come down on you. Right? Let's go into Psalms 106. Did we finish? Psalms 106. Psalms 106 Psalms 106 verse 34 They did not destroy the nations Concerning whom The Lord Yahweh commanded them Right so when, when, when we went into these other nations When we took possession of these other nations we didn't do as commanded. We didn't. We didn't destroy their idols. We went into. We we, we entered covenants. We opened up with the scripture in Exodus chapter thirty-four, not to make covenants with these other nations, not to be in league with them, not to make agreements. Right. Verse verse thirty-five. But we're mingled among the heathen and learned their works. Right. We were mingled amongst these other nations and learned their works, their ways. Right. Let's look in this word mingled. Strong's H, 6148, Arav, Arav. 
to pledge, exchange, mortgage, engage, occupy, undertake for, give pledges, be or become surety, take on pledge, give in pledge, to take on pledge, go surety, to give in pledge, to exchange, to exchange pledges, to have fellowship with, to share, right? So we started going after the women, joining houses. He then started getting inheritance, right? Right? The most I wasn't the most I instructed us not to do that. Right? Psalms 106, verse 35, once again. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. Learn their works, their idol worship, their abominable acts, their do as thou wilt, their alphabet lifestyle. Verse 36. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Serve their idols. Right? Bow down to their idols. And they served. Strong's H 5647. Avad. Avad. To work, serve, to labor, work, do work. To serve as subjects. To make oneself a servant, right? To be led or enticed to serve, right? So we went after their gods, man. Right? When the Mosai clearly instructed us, none of that. Right? Mingle among the heathen to this day. Verse 37 Yeah, they sacrificed his sons and their daughters unto devils, right? That goes into ch children's sacrifice. Molech comes to mind. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Right? So Israel, Yasharala went in there after we were given instructions, and we still went off, man. Right? We need Yahweh Shai, man. We do. Jeremiah 2, verse 20. And it reads, For of old time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, and, and, and thou saidest, I will not transgress, right? So time after time after time after time after time, the Most High delivered Israel out of captivity. Israel being a people before a place. Out of this captivity, out of that captivity, out of this captivity. And we continually said we will not transgress. Transgress means to break. Sin is transgression of the law. We cried to our power. He delivered us. We said we wouldn't do it again. And we went back and did it again, right? When upon every high hill and, on every, under, and under every ground green tree, Slaki, let's read that again. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot, right? Under every green tree, under every high hill, their idols, their churches, their places of worship. We wandered playing the har the harlot. There's a scripture in Hosea. I think it's in Hosea 9. Hosea 9. Hosea 9 verse 17. My power will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. Right? So the most I cast us away. That's why what Yahweh Shai did for us is, is you can't put a price on that, man. Because if Yahweh Shai didn't come back and die for our sins, there's no way back to the Father. We'd have to continually reincarnate over and over every three and four generations in this wicked queendom over and over again. There'd be no end to it if Yahweh Shai didn't come back and do what he did. Right? Hosea 9 verse 17. My power will cast them away, Israelites, because they did not hearken unto him, didn't listen. And they shall be wanderers among the nations. Wanderers, man. Wandering after their gods. That's Jake. Wanderers. Strong's H5074. Nadad. Nadad. Wanderers among the nations. To 
wander stray, to flee, to wander stray. Wander stray, right? Wandering after these other idols, man. Right? In the land of our captivity. That's Jake. Right? And it goes back, it goes back to the, it goes, it, it goes, it goes. Even in the time of the Hellenization. Let's get a quick preset. First Maccabees 1, verse 11. Right, you had Jake co-signing with the heathen and then trying to pull in other Jake, like a pyramid scheme. Here, First Maccabees 1 verse 11, and those days went there out of Israel, wicked men, right? So there, these were Israelites, wicked Israelites, who persuaded many saying, right? So telling other Israelites, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen, agreement with the heathen that are round about us who at the time were the Greeks under Antiochus Epiphanes. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow, right? So these wicked Jakes were telling other Jakes, you know, co-sign with the heathen, man. Let's go after their ways. First Maccabees 1, verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, right? Back then, there was a end. The, the, the goal was an NWO. Today, today, the goal is an NWO, one world government, new world order, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed, according to the commandment of the king, right? So at that time, all the heathen nations agreed to what Antiochus was was was, was proposing, a one world, a one one whole kingdom, right? A one world order known world at the time the greco-roman world right verse 43 yeah many also of the israelites consented to his religion many israelites consented what's going to happen to what's going what's that like into today man when this grain of rice comes many israelites going many israelites are going to consent man when the revelation 13 verse 16 pops they're going to consent verse 43 once again yeah Many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath, right? And that's what they did, man. Profaned the Sabbath, sacrificed the idols. What else did they do? For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should, that they should follow the strange laws of the land, right? And what is that like into today, man? Sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem. Today, that's uh, uh, mandates and executive orders, man. Right? That they should follow the strange laws of the land. That's today's mandates and, and, and bylaws and, and executive orders. This Biden character just signed an executive order, man. You got to watch the CBDC closely. Before the end of the year, they're saying it's going to pop. You got to watch it closely. Verse 45. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the sabbaths and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy temple set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts right so this is what antiochus commanded man you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't practice you couldn't practice the ways of abraham isaac and J jacob you couldn't practice the laws this was the Hellenization period. This is where it began, right? Verse 48, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation, right? And, and Jake today is lost in the sauce. They're in, they're in, they, they're, they've set up altars, there's churches everywhere, groves and chapels of idols, right? Wood and stone, churches, idols, Swine's flesh and unclean beasts. That's Jake today. Verse 49. To the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances, right? And this is the only captivity that we're in where Jake doesn't know who they are, man. 
right? This is the only captivity today where Jake does not know who he is, right? Acts 19. Acts 19. The points in 24. Acts 19 verse 20. So mighty grew the word of the Most High and prevailed. After these things were ended, Paul purposed in the spirit when he had passed through Macedonia and Achaia to go to Jerusalem saying, after I've been there, I must also see Rome, right? So Paul came from Macedonia and Achaia on his way to Jerusalem. He said he wanted to see Rome. So he sent into Macedonia two of them that ministered unto him, Timotheus and Erastus, right? So Erastus, so, so Paul sent Timothy and Erastus, but he himself stayed in Asia for a season. So Timothy and Erasus went on to Macedonia, right? Verse 23, And the same time there arose no small stir about the way. So there was a, 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 a disagreement in Macedonia pertaining to this. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, who was a Jake silversmith, he was making silver wares, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen. So he's making silver figurines and silver shrines for Diana, right? Di Di Diana Artemis, Artemis, right? She was a, a Greek, a matter of fact. She was a Greek uh, mythological goddess, right? Diana Artemis. Diana is a goddess in Roman and Hellenistic religion, primarily a considered a patroness of the countryside, hunters, crossroads, and the moon. She is equated with the Greek goddess Artemis and absorbed much of Artemis and absorbed much of Artemis mythology early in Roman history, including a birth on the island of Delos to parents Jupiter and Latona, and a twin brother Apollo, though she had an independent origin in Italy. You see that? So this uh, uh, Demetrius, the silversmith, who was a Jake, was making Diana figurines, idols, a goddess, right? And selling them. Let's continue on with this. Right? And that's Jake. Verse 25. Whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation. So this this Demetrius do gathered together the other workmen who did the same thing of like occupation. These other silversmiths who made silver shrines for Diana, right? And said, sirs, so he's telling these other guys, it's like a, 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 a strike. And he said, sirs, you know that by this craft we have our wealth. So he's like, you know, we get our money like this, right? Verse 26, moreover, ye see and hear that not alone at Ephesus, but, all, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul hath persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they, be no, that they be no gods which are made with hands. Right? So Demetrius and them were mad at Paul. Kapal was hitting them in the pocket. Kapal was turning away people that were worshipping this, this Diana. This Diana Artemis. So this Demetrius gathered together other sil silversmiths and saying, Yo, Paul's hitting our pocket, man. Verse 27. So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, you see that? So they're worried about their pocket. They're making these idols for money. And now they're worried that Paul is waking up these Israelites at the time. Hellenized Israelites at the time. So-called Gentile Israelites. They're Hellenized Israelites. Gentile Israelites. Not gen not natural Gentiles. Gentile Israelites. See, this is where wacky tacky goes off. Cause they don't understand the Hellenization history. Cause they don't read that they they, they they don't they don't they they don't read that they haven't read the apocrypha. They haven't read those books in First Maccabees, Second Maccabees about the Hellenization period, about what Antiochus Epiphanes did. We just read a little account, right? So they, they, they the disconnect that whole that whole piece of history. Cause the Old Testament ends in what Malachi. The last book of the Old Testament is Malachi. And then jumps into Matthew. Right after Malachi, the 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 the, the, the apocryphal books are in there. First Ezra, second Ezra, and so forth. Right? So 
Paul was waking up telling Jake at the time, you can't you can't run after them the, 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 them them Greek Roman gods, goddesses. That's off. Right? Verse 27. So that not only is our so not so that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worshipeth, right? At the time, the known world. Right? Macedonia, Ephesus, Italy, A A Asia, like Turkey. They all worshipped Diana at that time. Idol worship. Verse 28, And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out saying, Great is Diana of Ephesians. Right? And what is that like into today? When we, when we buck up a Christian, they get full of wrath because we cut them with the scriptures. That's what this is like into today, man. So in Paul's time, all these idol worshippers were bucking up against him. Right? I sit on that. Right? Idol worship, man. Right? 1 Corinthians 12. First Corinthians 12 verse 2. You know that you were at Salakia. First Corinthians 12 verse 2. Paul speaking. You know that you were Gentiles, right? Israelites. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Even as you were led, right? So we were carried away. Hellenized. Taken on the ways of, 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 of the oppressor. Worshipping these idols. Dumb idols. Right? As it is this day. Let's see. So that queen of heaven. Right? That Diana. Queen of heaven vibration. Mother Mary. Queen of heaven. Queen of heaven vibration. Guadalupe. Queen of heaven vibration. Luke 11 verse 27 and it came to pass as he spoke these things a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him right and this is when Yahweh was passing a woman lifted up her voice and said blessed is the womb that bear thee and the paps which thou hast suck right so she was saying blessed is this woman she's saying blessed is the woman that bear thee who was Mary at the time and the paps which thou hast suck that's what she was saying that was that queen of heaven vibration What do you I say? Verse 28. But he said, red letter. Yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of the of, of Yahweh and keep it. Right? Musa Yahweh Shai Cutter. Yahweh Shai Cutter. He's like, yo, no, no, so. It's not like that, woman. Blessed are they that hear the word of my father, Yahweh, and keep it. Right, but that's Jake. Jake and the idols, boy. Jeremiah 7. Jeremiah 7, verse 18. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. Right? These rituals, you know? Easter egg hunts, Christmas trees. Let's liken to that. The feast that accompany it, the dinners that accompany it, that accompany it, accompany it, right? That's liken to that. Kneading of their dough and making of their cakes to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. Right? The Most High's not dealing with that, man. That's why two thirds of the people out here are going to suffer horrific judgments, man, because they're not going to turn away from these these, these idols. They're gonna, they're, they're going to hang on to these idols right to right, right to the missiles. Right?
right, that queen of heaven. Ezekiel 8, verse 12. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery? For they say, The Lord Yahweh seeth us not. The Lord Yahweh hath forsaken the earth. Right? And I was wicked Israelites in that day, man. Hiding and worshiping other gods. He said unto me, Turn ye, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Right? And this is what Ezekiel was seeing, a vision. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, Yahweh, which was towards the north. And behold, there sat woman weeping for Tammuz, right? That's that, that, that's that queen of heaven vibration. Right? Tammuz. Diana Artemis. The Mother Mary under the RCC. That's just all, that's just all new names. But the same, the same Babylonian entities, gods. Ezekiel 8 verse 15, then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, Yahweh. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men. With their backs toward the temple of the Lord Yahweh, and their faces towards the east, and they worship the sun toward the east, right? More idol worship, worshiping the sun, sun god, moon gods, facing the east, Sunday, Saturday, Saturn worship, Jupiter worship. This is what Jake was doing back then, and this is what Jake is doing today. This is why we can't wait for Yahweh Shai to come back. I melt this place. I reestablish the kingdom of earth, the kingdom of heaven, Salakia. Reestablish the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Right? Let's close. But this place is wicked, man. Right? And no matter what you tell Jake, them two thirds, but they won't repent. It, Hosea 8, verse 8. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel. Wherein is no pleasure, right? We're mingled amongst the heathen, these Gentiles, as a vessel, wherein is no pleasure. That's two thirds, man. I pray edified. I don't want to disaster. Stay prayed up. Pray it on ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.